All right, hello, hello, welcome everybody. My name is Marnie Hernandez and I am here on this beautiful Tuesday in Vegas. Uh, we're doing the Ireland Certificate Workshop, okay? If you're new with us, um, what these are, just fun little things we do together, um, learning about different destinations, learning about different vendors, and it's interactive, okay? So it's not an actual training, you know, where I'm teaching. It's where we learn from the vendors and, and stuff. Sorry, I bit my cheek. And, um, uh, learn about the different things. Also, when we do these certifications, guys, they're great. If you're going to start it, finish it, because many of them give you um, discounts, fam trips, familiarization trips. I just got Sandals is having one Granada. Um, of course, it's the 28th to the 31st. I'm going on a cruise on the 31st, but um, free fam trips to um, Jamaica. So, uh, make sure you finish these so that way you can um, get all these amazing um, specials, okay? All right, let me see if I can get Is log anyone in. else having trouble with the registration? It just, it's stuck in the spot where it says select one to three things. I did, and it just keeps circling back to that. Should I just back out and try over again? I went and I checked everything and then I turned around and went back and checked three things and it worked for me. I don't it know. It is not doing that for me. Because <laughs> I, I had the same thing. Yeah, I would just sign out and go back in. Okay. All right. Um, it's not letting me sign in at all. It keeps saying invalid username or password. Yeah, you got to register. Did you register already? Yes, I just sure finished. Okay. okay, did you verify your email? You have to make sure you go to this email and click on there. Click the link to verify your email. That I didn't do that either, and I just did it, and now it let me in. Okay, I'm about to do that now. Perfect. Okay, Amanda, here you go. There is the link. You're going to click on there. You're going to go into the link, and then um, right here, you're going to hit register. Again, just go through. It's very simple. Once you register, you do have to verify the um, the email, and then it'll let you in. Okay. And then here you are, and it'll start right here. Training Ireland specialist. You're on your way. Um, interactive program, and the way we do this, guys, is uh, we will go ahead and. Most of, you know, usually I'll read if it gets too much, I'll ask somebody else to jump in. Um, a lot of them are either reading or videos. I'm not seeing where to register. Okay, when you click on that link I just sent you, you should be able to go over, I think, to training and then under training. Can you guys see my screen? Right here under training, it should give you a, an option to sign in. Yes, yeah. I can see your screen. All right. So Amanda, do you not see that? Hold on, let me get back here. Let me go to the original right here. I was looking for register, okay. Um, yeah, I think you click login and then it'll say, do you have an account yet? Register now, okay, perfect, all right. And then you just click register now, and then you should be able to get in. Make sure you get your email um, verified, okay? All right, so um, as I said, we'll go through these. Um, make sure you complete it. If you have to leave, we have them recorded um, and they will be on my YouTube channel for you guys to review later. Um, but you want to record or you want to complete it and then post your certificates. Okay, guys, because again, you want people to know now you're a specialist with Ireland. Okay, so we're going to click on Ireland specialist um, program is interactive. Register to quiz dashboard login. So I think we're going to go down here and start benefits of becoming a specialist. Improve your earning potential by selling Ireland as a destination. The ability to promote yourself as an Ireland expert to your customers and then receive a gold or silver Ireland specialist certificate. Again, 
post that, let people know that you are a specialist. What will you learn by completing the quizzes? You'll learn about Ireland, places to go, things to do, places to stay, events, and what's new. Learn more, have a question, send it there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead, register to quiz. Let's see if that's where we're supposed to go. Start quiz now, okay? So we'll go here, start quiz now. Again, if you're just coming on, don't worry about it. We will wait for you for the test. Um, again, most of it is just where they have company. I put, I end up putting um, Archer Travel. Again, remember guys, whenever you're doing anything with a vendor, um, always use Archer Travel. Evolution is the marketing side of the business. Archer Travel is the travel side. So you wanna make sure you're affiliated with Archer Travel. That's the IATA number. Um, that's how they recognize us. Okay, perfect. All right, learn Marnie, more. Uh huh. Where did you What did you click to get to the screen you're on right now? Um, I, I went to. I was on training, and then I went to start quiz right here. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. And again, if if I'm reading or something, go ahead and put in the chat box, guys. And we have a lot of amazing agents here that will help you if you get lost or something. Okay. And again, we will wait to make sure that everybody gets the quizzes right. All right, so we want to get gold, 100%, okay? So let's do it. All right, so start quiz now. So we're gonna go down here, um, Dairy, London Dairy, okay? So learn more to become an Ireland specialist. So we're gonna click here, find out more. Okay, again, I'm gonna read and then we'll do a test, okay? So these are the tests. So just follow along. Um, all right, so Dairy London Dairy. It's hard to escape the walls of Dairy London Dairy. Then again, why would you want to? Winding walls, compact character, fabulous food and dramatic history. Experience the wonders one of Europe's finest walled cities has to offer. Find out more. Now I want to show you when it says find out more, it usually pops you out of the system, okay? So I just wanted to show you. These are things you can get into later. Um, if you are starting, like a lot of people will have like a folder on their desktop or they may do a binder, okay, for Europe or Ireland or something and you'll do a binder. You can get in here then and print these things out for reference for later. Okay, we're not going to go through each of these, but there, you know, if you want to know more, you can click on there. Okay, but right now we're just going to keep where we're at on the training. Okay, but when it says find out more, it'll take you in for more details, um, uh, contacts, stuff like that, that you can print out. Okay. All right, so that's London um, Big Dairy. Uh, the Wild Atlantic Way. From the wind-whipped tip of Mullenhead to the safe haven of Kinsale Harbor, wrap yourself in the wilderness of the west coast of Ireland. Then the cliffs of Moher. Now again, guys, tomato, tomato. I'm not the best at pronunciation, so if I mispronounce the word, go ahead and help. You'll know, help me out. I, I. Thank you for it, okay? Um, no Ireland bucket list is complete without a trip to the Cliffs of Moher, part of a UNES UNESCO, sorry, I always get the UNESCO Global Geopark and Special Protection Area. These iconic rock stars soar to heights of 214 meters, 702 feet at their highest. Again, find out more, gives you more details on that. Then you have Ireland's ancient east. Wander through time at first sight. Ireland's ancient east is carpeted by lush landscapes and idyllic towns framed by the River Shannon and the Irish Sea. But this land is also full of secrets. Just ask the locals and the stories will spring to life. Whoop, whoop. All right, Skellig Michael. Skellig Island, Skellig Michael and small Skellig stand aloof along the wild Atlantic Way. A designated UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is renowned among archeologists as the site of an early monastic, monastic settlement. 
tape. Sounds kind of scary, huh? Like skeleton. <laughs> All right, Northern Ireland with an incredible mix of awesome landscapes and world-class visitor attractions. Northern Ireland, Ireland is a dream destination with adventures around every corner. Discover the beauty and wonder this extraordinary land has to offer. All right, so everybody up to date now, everybody in, because now we're going to take our test. So you guys remember all these? Now let's take our test. Time to test your knowledge. Its walls date back 400 years, and it's one of the best examples of medieval walled city in Europe. If you wanted to walk the length of Derry, London's wall, how far would you have to walk? Anybody remember? Does it say? Do we have to go in to find out more to find out how long you have to walk? I didn't think we had to. <laughs> Maybe we need to. Let's see. Slow it down, unforgettable. Four hundred years ago. Did I miss it, guys? Or do, do, do. yeah, it's on uh find out more and then you click about the walls. Uh and under historic, maybe. Here, discover more. Walk the century walls. Okay. Mile long oval comes complete. Okay. All right. So I guess we need to actually go into each of these. So it may be taking a while. I didn't know. Again, di different it says, ones. Where it says a mile. So we got to convert that into kilometers. <laughs> Dang, now we have the whole uh, math, you know, test also. Okay. Shouldn't that be two kilometers? Isn't there 2.6 kilometers in one mile? Yeah, let's try that. We'll check. The longest to find a coastal route. Okay, I guess we need to just go back and read some of these. Sorry. Whew. All right. So let's see, the walled wonders, stand on the cities of Derry, Londonburg, you'll feel it. History is all around you. The very walls beneath you built over 400 years ago. Look over the city's bogside area and you'll see history literally written on the walls in those famous murals. Traditional music spills out onto the streets from cozy pubs, museums tell stories of times past and people still celebrate ancient festivals. But there's more to this place than its past. This is a vibrant my, modern city with a cutting edge food scene and exciting cultural life and a pretty impressive ability to enjoy life. Here where the wild Atlantic way meets the causeway coastal route, you can discover Derry Londonberry and you can see history come to life. So you have the Derry Londonberry nine to try. Walk through the 17th century city walls, take in some open air art, enjoy the laid back pace of this cultural gem. Discover more. Okay, let's see this. All right, three minute read. The most interesting, enjoyable, unique experiences Derry Londonberry Berry has to offer. You have the 17th century walls, hard to escape the Londonbury. Then again, why would you want to? 20 feet high and at least as wide, the mile long oval comes complete with gates, watchtower battlements, bastions, bastions and huge canyons. Derry Londonbury is the only completely walled city in Ireland and one of the finest in Europe. And the best way to enjoy these stony ramparts is to go slow. Take a walking tour and hear the fascinating stories about brutal 17th century sieges, 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 sorry, starving citizens, fearsome roaring canyons, then finish off by crossing the Peace Bridge to Embrington Square and the Walled City Brewery, where you can raise a glass to this unique city. 
delve into the story of the Armada in Ireland, dangerous adventures in 16th century shipwrecks, the Tower Museum, does history with a side of drama. It wasn't far from Derry, Londonberry to the Donegal coast where the Spanish um, Ar Armada's fourth largest ship, La Trinidad Valencia, was lost in 1588. 400 years later, it was discovered by divers from the city of Derry Sub Aqua Club. Get the grisly details with an audiovisual twist at this award-winning museum. And if the tales of the sea make you long for the sound of the waves, you're in luck. At Derry Londonberry, the wild Atlantic way meets the causeway coastal route, making the city perfect, um, the, the perfect base to discover two of Ireland's great coastal touring routes. And then explore the su sunning Guildhall, Guildhall, sorry, Guildhall. Looking um, for the most striking building in Derry, Londonbury, you found it. The Guildhall is a red brick neo-Gothic wonder on the edge of a picturesque square that's perfect for a stroll or a snack. Enter these red brick walls and if you're lucky, really lucky, you might catch someone playing the massive organ. Let the music move through you as you admire the iconic building stunning stained glass windows. And then try something traditional, the British Irish language Centra Culturlan Uchanan showcases the traditional skills of some of the best singers and dancers. A night here is not easily forgotten. As impressive in as it is out, the building is a beauty. Wander through its zigzag interior and you'll see why it has been nominated for several architectural awards. Dip into open air art. Derry Londonberry's history is a rich one. It's so rich, in fact, that they've painted it on the walls. The city's murals are a keyhole view into a time that's known widely as the Troubles. The artists who painted a large number of them now conduct guided walking tours at the murals. Um, oops, hold on. Uh, and as far as living history goes, this is unique. Delve deeper into the story of Dairy Londonberry at the Museum of Free Dairy, where state of the art audiovisual displays offer a fascinating insight into the city's role in the worldwide civil rights movement. And then the view from the city from the Peace Bridge. Okay, there's the bridge. To get a look at the city from the water, why not take a walking tour and see the iconic Peace Bridge? Since it opened in 2011, this bridge has won a number of awards and is a vital link between the two sides of the River Foyle. It's a focal point in the beautiful city and every year thousands line its pathways for events such as New Year's Eve celebrations and the Clipper Round the World Yacht Race Stopover. Pro tip, visit the bridge at night to see it lit up spectacularly against the Foyle River. Sounds beautiful. Go back in time at St. Columns Cathedral. This beautiful cathedral dates back to 1633. Make it one of the city's oldest buildings. It's a huge part of Derry's fascinating history. The spire dominates the city's skyline from every side and at 221 feet tall, how could it not? Made from the same gray green stone as the walls of the city, St. Columns um, contains dozens of historic artifacts. Call into, the chap call into the Chapter House Museum on the grounds of the cathedral to see old photos, paintings, and books and get to know the background of this historic city. And then explore local design at the Derry Londonberry Craft Village. If you're looking for a hidden village, hidden jewel in this city, you found it. The Craft Village is a cultural hub in the heart of Derry Londonberry and offers something for everyone. The village is a reconstruction of an 18th century street framed by craft stalls, coffee shops, and restaurants. Amble around the village and taste some of the flavors of Northern Ireland. Pick up a book or some hand knitted pieces of clothing or simply soak it all in. And if you're lucky, you might even catch one of the many events that the village hosts throughout the year from art exhibitions to theater. Get spooked at Halloween, woo! Not for the faint hearted, Dairy Halloween is one of the biggest Halloween celebrations in Europe. 
party with the supernatural at the Gothic Ball. This takes place every year at the Glassworks, a spooky 19th century church. If dancing the night away with ghosts and ghouls isn't your thing, go for a spooky stroll through the awakening of the walls or take a tour through a haunted house. One of the big highlights is the carnival parade featuring music, theatrics, and breathtaking performances guaranteed to blow those cobwebs away. And if you don't dress up, you'll stand out a mile. All right. And then continue reading. We got attractions here. A tragic tale, an epic romance, Hollywood skip writers have something on the legendary um, Bobby luxury private tour of Ireland. Okay, then it pulls up even more. All right. I'm not going to go through all these. Hopefully we can get the answers on that. Okay. Let's see. Continue reading. Overnight luxury bed and breakfast and then public holidays. We probably need this, right? All right. Sorry. All right. Da, da, da. Again, it's a learning process. <laughs> all right. St. Patrick's Day at home. From the island of Ireland came the St. Patrick's Day party we were all waiting for. This fun-filled 90-minute show was broadcast live on 17th of March from three of Ireland's best-loved pubs, bringing a festival of music, Irish dancing, special guests, and a few surprises right into people's living rooms. You have the Celtic drummers kicked off the entertainment with the pulse pounding opening ceremony in Dublin while folk superstars, the Shamrock Tenors, ten tenors join the Belfast. The talented folks from Riverdance even drop by to show everyone how it's done. Add in some lively show and tells on everything from playing the spoons to pouring the perfect pint of Guinness from a can and you had a night to remember. Watch some highlights below on the YouTube St. Patrick's Day Home. All right. All together now. One, two, three. Slow to laugh. Cheers to everyone. You don't see the video, guys? Oh, we don't. And this stuff where it says Northern Ireland. I do. Been there for a while. I wonder why that is. I I'm see it on your there. screen. Okay. I'm going to okay. leave and come back and see if it's me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just make sure you guys get to the test area and we should be good. All right, so here Johnny's Fox um, Pub. So three pubs that have the parties going on. Um, so that's St. Patrick's Day. Okay, want to know more? The big day. Ooh, I'm working, Coda. All right, then you have. This isn't a very easy access because it's kind of throwing me all over the place. Ireland St. Patrick's celebrations. So you have the festival, um, embrace technology to deliver a festival with the difference. A festival went online with the dedicated TV channel, St. Patrick's Festival TV, which gave people a front row seat at over 100 exciting live events. Awaken Ireland, um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Yes, <laughs> was the theme with the whole world invited to shake off the woes of winter and look towards the brighter days ahead. Events celebrated all aspects of Irish life from the um, storytelling, poetry and music to our food, crafts, dance and comedy. I always want to go to Ireland. Did you guys see um, P.S. I Love You? Okay. So <laughs> what you need to know about this is this is like entirely new and made up for tourists alone. Uh, I went there like 10 years ago on St. Patrick's Day and it's it was nothing it was a 
I mean, not nothing. It was lovely and wonderful, but it's a religious holiday. It okay. wasn't celebrated with this kind of big to do. Got it. Okay. So this so is they're great. making it out to be something magnificent. No, uh, it's probably great, but like this, this is something that the tourist board clearly put together to celebrate the the country and like bring in tourists because ten years ago this was not a thing. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Um, Re Risa, um, what, what it is, is no, we haven't done the questions yet because we're still going through all the videos. I, I thought they were just the short reading, but we actually have to click on to keep moving forward. So um, when we got here, you click learn more and then we're moving forward from that, find out more. So that's where we're at right now. So we haven't taken the test yet. Okay. All right. Um, so let me see where we're at. So we did the wall wondered. Okay, I finished that. You're welcome. Again, you know, it's new for us. So we're trying to follow through and make sure we catch everything so we can pass and get the gold certificate. All right. So um, again, we're to celebrate our MOG down, our, um, our MOG and down are where Pio, Pios, Pio, Pios? Um, Patrick founded his first churches way back in the fifth century. And it was from here that the at, the, at home with St. Patrick Festival was streamed online, sharing a lively showcase um, of the best culture, music, song, and dance from Northern Ireland. You also have the other celebrations around Ireland. You have the Quirk. Tune into Quirks online, St. Patrick's celebration featuring everything from traditional greening to live performances from local family groups. Limerick, home to Ireland's only international band championship. Limerick will be showcasing a special performance and message from some of America's talented marching bands this St. Patrick's Day. Killarney, Ever wonder what Killarney looks like when it turns green? The greening of the town has become a significant, a signature part of the festival and 2021 will even be bigger and much more virtual. Um, from Waterford, from the traditional greening of Waterford's iconic buildings to families and friends hosting their very own St. Patrick's Day parades, Waterford is planning a very personal online celebration. Kilkenny, when we'll be kicking off the fun with the traditional music concert on March 16th, followed by a whole host of interactive events, all of which you can enjoy from home. And then Sligo will be celebrated its rich culture and heritage, which arranged with a range of music, song, and poetry events from March 14th, all leading up to an exciting virtual parade on the 17th. All right, do you feel like tasting wild sea spray on your lips, strolling through Beirut City, exploring Tarunas right this way? All right, so back to nature. Boy, I don't even know where we're at, guys. It just keeps going in different areas. Is everybody with me? Are we all in the same area? I think you just need to go back once we read that first group of nine from Derry to London Derry. That we can I start. Then oh. you can go back and go to the next one, Derry Halloween. All right. Oh, that was the Wald Wonder. Yeah, I think and the then, next section is Wild Atlantic Way, where we're going to learn about the next question. If you look at the questions, they follow along in order by the topic headers, but you do need to go to the second page. All right, so we're gonna go now to the Wild Atlantic Way and now only do the first page. I have right? no idea where that's at. That's the second one right here. It's right here. We did Londonberry and now Wild Atlantic Way. Okay, got it. Okay, everybody here? And we're, so we get to here. Not there. All right. So we're in the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, don't, we, don't we need to take the test at the end of the uh, the first one? No, because that's this is after all these. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Hold on one sec. Hello this morning. Okay. 
junk. All right, soaring cliffs, buzzing little towns, and a way of life forever inspired by the sea. That's what you'll find on the world's longest defined coastal touring route. Okay, what is the longest defined touring route? Wild Adventure Way. <laughs> Enjoy a journey of a lifetime as you travel the 2,500 kilometer long coastal road known as the Wild Atlantic Way. From the wind whip tip of Mullen Head in County Donegal to the balmy beauty of Kinsale Town in County Cork, the west of Ireland will wow you with its epic landscapes and charm you with its quiet moments. This is a place that has inspired dreamers and drifters, poets and painters with a landscape laced with dry stone walls, thatched cottages, brooding, um, brooding mountains and deserted beaches. Escape, explore and enjoy an off the beaten track adventure on the very edge of Europe. Unforgettable moments. It's easy to feel the wild that defines this coastline. It's everywhere from sheer cliffs um, that plunge into the crashing Atlantic waves to remote weather beaten islands. But the West of Ireland is about more than that. It's about moments of connection. It's a chat from locals, the warmth of a fire lit pub, the tapping feet of traditional music session from the elemental weather to the oak soaked salmon, the essence of wild Atlantic way runs deep. So you have wild beauty. Um, in the Shoan Peninsula has countryside you have to see at least once. You think it's a heartbreaking beautiful as it's going to get and then it gets more beautiful again. That's from the novelist Joseph O'Connell. Adventure, Strand Hill is popular with surfers for good reason. This beach break can um, paddle out and delivers a reliable stream of waves in both summer and winter. That's Red Bull. Then you have, oops, Dandale, oops, is this it? Sights, the breathtaking scenery in Lenine on the shores of Killary Ford, Fajord, is the stuff of epic westerns. And then music, the land is hard, the soul is not, lonely planet. Islands, we were in mood with the sound of the wind that blew in from the seashore, be beating in our ears every morning, clearing our brains, rinsing the dust from our skulls. And then life at sea, fast net was such a treacherous rock to be on when you were on the fast net, even on the finest day going. You always kept looking over your shoulder, lighthouse keeper Gerald, Gerard Butler in the journal. All right, discover the wild Atlantic way with locals. Experience the beauty of Ireland's West Coast in the company of Galvin, Galway man, Charlie Troy. The wild Atlantic way is a journey to experience for the spectacular landscape, rich culture, and the friendly people. to some 
Sorry, guys. All right. All right. Uncover the best of Ireland's wild Atlantic way. Enjoy the flavors. All right. So let's see. I don't know why my animals are freaking out. But... Marnie, I think the, the answer to the next question is in the next section. I don't know if we have to go through all these videos. Okay, so let's They're see. all going to be about four to five minutes long. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go to the next one, which is North. No. It's about Skellig Michael. Cliffs. Okay. Um, Skellig. Well, do you want to go in order over here or just find out based on the things? Let's see how long this one is. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. Hold on. Um, hold on one sec, guys. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Rick, are you here? Have you guys done the first test yet? Because I kind of lost connection somewhere. We're we are on question three of the first test. Yeah, it's supposed to be Star Wars because I was looking at that too, and it ain't. That's not on our list. I think the, the a Skellig it's Harry Michael, Potter. I think yeah. it's Harry Potter. It's, it's Harry Potter. Yeah, that's when. Uh, I think it's from when you know they did the. the yeah, the um, place where the Dementors live. Because I went back and I looked at at the Skellig, if I'm even saying that right, and all I see is Star Wars everything. Just watched huh. the video and it said Star Wars The Last Jedi was filmed there. Yeah, and I don't I see actually, that. I just Googled it and I asked, is Harry Potter, is Skellig Michael in Harry Potter? And it comes back, yes. <laughs> so right. we can Let's skip that one. <laughs> Harry Potter was going to be my guess because that's yeah. the one I could think of. But all and the name is Azkaban, <laughs> just FYI. Yeah, Harry Potter I, nerd I over was here. having a brain fart. I could not remember where the Dementors live. <laughs> so what are we doing? Harry are we Potter just nerd. doing the test or what? <laughs> we skipped it. We went from two miles, Wild Atlantic is, Way, Harry Potter, a, and now... Two, that is 1.6. I, I googled it. It's 1.6. Okay, so with the 1.5 kilometers, then that's what I did. Yeah, I googled okay. it. And it said um, one point one mile equals 1.6 kilometers. 1.609334, whatever. Okie dokie, <laughs> then. And then, uh, Skellig Michael, we could look up what county it's in and just skip that all. All right, it looks like Brittany put all the answers in here, so. 1.5 Wild Atlantic Way, Harry Potter, Co. Carry, Giants Causeway, and 5,000 years old. All righty, so, uh, submit and continue. Oh, wait a minute. Six yeah. out of six. All right, thank you, Brittany. Thank you, guys. All right, you got it, um, Christine? I'll check chat. It's, yeah, 1.5, Wild okay. Atlantic Way, Harry Potter, Carrie, Giant's Causeway, and 5,000 years. I got it. Okay, perfect. All right. 
So things to do. Let's start at the Northern Ireland. Things to do, test. No, nope, we don't want to start that. Dublin City. Welcome to Dublin City, lively capital city. Did everybody pass really quick? Yes. Okay, perfect. And as friendly as your local Irish pub with its seamless, congratulations guys, blend of classic visitor sites, excellent social scene and the natural playgrounds of Dublin Bay and the Dublin mountains, framing it on all sides, the laid back city is an adventure in itself. And top things to do, the Guinness storehouse takes a lot of, to become iconic, but Guinness has done it. The black stuff may, be famous the world over, but this slow settling porter started off life in St. James Gate at the heart of Old Dublin. Back in 1759, an enterprising brewer by the name of Arthur Guinness took out a 9,000 year lease on the brewery here for an annual rent of whatever. A couple of centuries later, the storehouse was born, built in the style of Chicago School of Architecture, 1904. It was originally used as a ferment fermentation house. Today, it's Ireland's number one visitor attraction, a gleaming multimedia exhibition on everything from retro advertising to the craft of brewing. Brewing Topped off with a pint of the 360 degree gravity bar. When you get there, don't forget to raise your glass to Arthur's wonderful creation. You also have St. Patrick's and Christ uh, Church Cathedrals. Ancient, dramatic, and intriguing, Dublin's two cathedrals make a striking pair built beside a wall, a well where Ireland's patron saint baptized converts, patron saint baptized converts, St. Patrick's dates back to 1220 and is filled with monuments, 19th century stained glass, and a beautiful lady chapel. Just a 10 minute walk away from Christ Church has attracted pilgrims for almost 1,000 years. And today, one of its biggest attractions in its medieval, cre medieval crypt. There are plenty of other reasons to visit, but some may be fascinated by the Chapel of St. Lawrence O'Toole. A heart-shaped shrine contains a saint's embalmed heart. Oh my gosh. The Book of Kells in Trinity College. With a backstory that includes monks, Vikings, and remote Scottish islands, the Book of Kells will make the hairs on the back of your neck stand on an end. This glorious early Christian illuminated, illuminated manuscript is quite simply a masterpiece. Located within Trinity's College's treasury, the tour here includes a visit to the Long Room Library, one of Europe's most magnificent libraries, housing over 200,000 of Trinity's oldest books. Afterwards, wander around the charming camp campus of Trinity, which dates back to 1592, and boasts an impressive list of alumni, including Bram Stoker, Oscar Wilde, and Jonathan Swift. The front square and Capanile are a delight, while the college also houses the Modern Science Gallery and the Douglas Hyde Gallery um, with changing contemporary art exhibitions. Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum, located in the historic vault of the CHQ building at a custom house square quay, you'll find the two time winner of Europe's leading tourist attraction, Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum. The museum delves into the past of Ireland's diaspora in brilliant interactive detail and the state of the art visitor experience explores the inspiring journeys of over 10 million people who left Ireland's shores throughout history. Fancy learning more about your Irish ancestry? The Irish Family History Center is also located where you can access valuable records, speak with Jan, genealogy, sorry, <laughs> expert and join the online community of people on a quest to learn about their Irish roots. If you're looking for another location, Ladin and Lineage Glasnevin Cemetery is a treasure trove of records accounting for 1.5 million burials. In fact, you could say a visit here will give you an intriguing look into the birth of the nation. And then Dublin Castle, perched on the site of the Danish Viking fortress from 930 AD, and with the first stone cast by King John of England in 1230, Dublin's castle historical significance 
did not stop there. Under British rule from the point until 1921, it was a key target during the 1916 Easter Rising. It has been a court, a fortress, even a site of execution in its time. And its architecture has evolved and grown with each metamorphosis. In, in truth, it feels more like a rambling campus than an actual castle. Not many turrets in sight, but it's a setting for every big state event, including presidential inaugurations. Wander the grounds or take a guided tour to the state apartments, medieval undercroft and chapel royal. And then Kilmanham Gowl. Um, eerie, vast, deserted. The Gaul is the largest unoccupied prison in Europe and holds countless tales within its thick, cold walls. <laughs> By the time it had closed in 1924, many of Ireland's foremost political figures have passed through its cells, including Robert Emmett, Charles Stuart Cornell, President Emma, Eamon de Valora, and leaders of the 1916 Rising, 14 of whom were executed at the Stonecutter's Yard. The tour here gives a dramatic insight into the history of the forbidden prison with its overcrowding hardship and brutal conditions, a definite don't miss. Dublin's Free Museums gaze at one of the largest and most spellbinding gold collections in Europe, come face to face with incredible preserved bodies of Iron Age people, and look into the wonder of 4,500 year old log boat from County Galway. National Museum of Ireland is just one of the city's must visit museums housed within a lovely Palladian building from 1890. And it doesn't stop there. National Gallery of Ireland includes wonderful European Irish fine art with acclaimed collection of works by Irish painter um, Jack B. Yeats. Soak up the past, see Irish design through the ages, National Museum of Decorative Arts and History and Colin Barracks, and head to Hugh Lane Gallery to see the world-renowned Francis Bacon Studio. And the real good news, admission is free. Then you have City Parks, almost done. Um, wherever you want to spend the evening watching a retro film in a leafy Georgi Georgian square or potter around a lunchtime farmer's market, Dublin's parks will fit the bill. Cherished and adored, the city's green spaces include the hidden oasis of I Ivia Gardens, perfect for afternoon picnics, and the city center gem of St. Stephen's Green, which was used for public executions until the 1770s. Make like a local by spending the afternoon cycling through the Phoenix Park, one of Europe's largest enclosed city parks with the large herd of follow um sorry, uh, deer for company, seek out the statue of Ox Oscar Wilde in Marion Square, take time in Dublin Lynn Gardens tucked just behind Dublin Wall um, Urban Bliss. And then the Little Museum of Dublin tucked away on Stevens Green, eccentric collection of fascinating items donated by Dubliners themselves, intricately curated and thoughtfully displayed. Museum is a delightful place to spend an unhurried afternoon uncovering a more intimate history of Dublin in the 20th century through photography, letters, advertising, and art. Music fans will particularly enjoy the second floor exhibition you two made in Dublin, uh, which charts the story of the city's most famous rock band from 1976 to the present day. Afterwards, head downstairs to the basement kitchen of Hatch and Sons for a heart lunch of traditional Irish smoked fish. All right, should we go to the next one? Let's go to the next one, which is gel golf. No, exclusive, exclusive equation, equestrian <laughs> adventures. Looking for an adventure that will show you the best part of Ireland. Do, do. Looking for adventures that show Ireland from a different perspective or lets you watch the finest thoroughbreds in action, then it's time to talk about the land of the horses. Ireland has a long history of hor with horses, whether it's trekking across the Morn Mountains in County Down, galloping along the beach in Atrium or Galway, Galway, or watching the racehorses fly past the finishing post in Keldar. Any equestrian buff will find something to do in Ireland. 
horse riding in Ireland. If you're not an experienced horse rider but would love to try it out, there's no need to worry. Almost all equestrian centers are happy to take on any level of expertise and qualified instructors can quickly help you establish balance and confidence on the horse that has been specifically selected for you. For those who know how to ride, you can practice your existing skills surrounded by Ireland's beautiful countryside. Equestrian centers should have all the equipment that you need, but as with any activity, bring comfortable clothes that are rainproof and a decent pair of walking shoes. Ireland's weather is famously unpredictable, so make sure you have clothes packed for all weather. Of course, you adopt um, you could opt to take a horse-drawn caravan for the duration of your holiday, but whether you're on horseback being drawn by a sturdy steed, it's, if the trail takes you along roads, the Road Safety Authority in the Republic of Ireland and Road Safe and I gives advice on horse safety and the rules of the road. Where to ride? Plenty of treks and trails for those you, um, you to choose from, including those that bring you down to the golden beaches around Ireland. It just depends on how far you want to go. The writing centers will advise you on the lengths of the treks available. Meanwhile, cross-country riding combines speed, agility, and precision as you tackle banks, water obstacles, drops, and wooden logs around some of the island's excellent cross-country courses. For more advanced riders, there's usually the option to bring your own horse. If you'd like to improve your skills, you can try out a cross-country lesson. Qualified instructor will help you tackle obstacles as well as build your confidence. Safety is of paramount importance, so always listen to the instructions given. Okay, and then at the races, thoroughbreds, etc. Okay, next. Actually, we might want to go back to that thoroughbreds question because the question is about Irish National Stud Farm. So which one is the stud we need to find out, right? But probably the thing about the thoroughbreds. It's asking which prince visited the stud, um, that place. Yeah. And I, I it doesn't say in so there. So if we click on Irish National Stud, maybe they'll say. All right. So thoroughbreds. No, no, no. Scroll up to where it's a talk to, scroll up to the previous paragraph. And see that right above where your your mouse was, uh, Irish National Stud. <laughs> Maybe they'll say about it in there. All right. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess on this. I'm I'm gonna look it up here in a minute. But I would say the Prince um the Prince William because I do believe I heard that he was there. So it asked which print, Prince William of Cambridge. So what's the mistaken. question? Which prince visited the Irish National Stud Farm? I'll look it up. Okay. You're Googling it? Yeah. Brittany says it's Aga Khan the third. Okie dokie. Clicking on that. <laughs> Moving on. Thank you. All right. And then we have golf, world um, class courses in some of the most spectacular locations. Ireland's credentials are sky high with golf, whether you prefer links, courses, or a parkland game. It's time to test yourself on the many picturesque golf courses in London or Ireland. Sorry. All right. So let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. So golf. Here we go, video champion of golf, okay? So they have the Ryder Cup, Tiny Island. They have everyone from the champions playing there. Not hard to see why, world-class golf course. 400 golf clubs, including um, a third of the world's natural link courses and a selection of exceptional talk, um, courses in amazing locations. Every year, 240,000 golfers from around the world come uh, so it should be no surprise, um, continues to cement the reputation, iconic golfing destination, prestigious events, the 153rd Open in Royal Portrush and the Ryder Cup in Andra, Andera Manor. After all, some of the best golfers, including, okay, is there a golf question in there? All right. What yes, you need there is. Yes, it is. Okay. It's always best to call ahead, book your tea times in advance, green fees. Most clubs offer special rates. 
They may also ask about packages, two or three courses over your trip so that you can test your knowledge or your, your skills against the greens. If you're going to be playing on some of Ireland's championship courses, best to get a caddy. They know the fairways best. Traditional dress codes, um, code is clubs, jeans, um, jeans, shorts, and trainers are frowned upon while some clubs might insist on a jacket and tie for the dining room. Safest bed is smart casual with waterproof gear sunscreen at hand. Um, many clubs will only allow soft spikes, so do check in advance. Best of all, that you don't need to be a member to play our golf courses either. All you need to do is find the course, book your tee times, and turn up. Choose an operated or range at all. All right, so... Um, I think you answered the golf question. I feel like you said something about a third of the links. Yeah. Golf. A, yeah, that was the answer. True. Yeah, including a third of the world's links. A third, okay, so then it would, we got some, that. But, it's, but the question is, uh, the state false, is. Right, because doesn't the question say a fourth, a quarter? What's the question? Yes, it's true. She says it's true? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So that's golfing. Okay. Now, Northern Ireland. Did we do this? That's the one we already did, right? Northern Ireland. No. Goblins path. Okay. You've left Belfast behind, and now it's time to start your journey around Causeway Coastal Route. Already 20 miles in, you found something remarkable. Let us introduce you to the Gobbins. Hanging from basalt cliffs directly over Irish Sea, the Gobbins Cliff Path is an Edwardian labor of love designed by the railway engineer Berkeley D. Dean Wise in 1902. The Gobbins closed in 1954 when the depression of the 1930s and lack of materials post-World War II caught up with the one-of-a-kind visitor experience. After extensive renovations, the Gobbins opened again and it's hugely popular stop along the stunning Causeway Coastal Route. On the Walking the Edge tour, you'll find yourself standing on the steel bridges above the churning waves, running your hand along the cool stone of the cliff face and enjoying up close views of the Gobbins, many sea birds. So you have the aquarium, the tubular, tubular bridge and Wise's Eye, okay? Geography, beauty as it is, there's more to the Gobbins than it looks. Prominent in the basalt coastline is sed sedimentary rock, which hints at climates found as far back as the Tria Tria Trias class, Triassic and Jurassic periods. Amazingly, an Ichisiosaurus fossil found at a nearby Larney dates from the time millions of years ago when this part of Ireland would have been completely submerged underwater, um, a warm, shallow air sea, sorry. Um, Gobbins biodiversity, the cliffs play host to Northern Ireland's only mainland colony of puffins. And the biodiverse area welcomes more than just puffins. Other winged creatures feed and play here include kittiwakes, shags, Gulamots, razorbills, and from time to time, a peregrine falcon. Alert visitors might just well spot cormorants diving for fish in the Irish Sea. Clinging to the ancient rock, too, are diverse plants, ferns, and grasses. Among them, spleenwort and fern, from which a cave here takes its name. Take a boat tour. You can also take sea tours. The Gobbin setting off from Bully Lumford Harbor, the hour long tour packs in stunning sea views of the Gobbins and Island Maggie's cliffs. Keep your eyes open for sightings of por porpoises, seals, and maybe even whales. Um, footwear is required for hiking and walking. Any restrictions? Um, walk, what is the walk length? Followed 100 steps to the path. Uh, two miles and ends in a steep upward climb back to your transport. Overall experience lasts about three hours. Uh, located by the county of Antrim, uh, 20 miles from Belfast. Facilities are provided. History of the tour and safety features. Must have a helmet before bus then takes you from the center to the beginning of the cliff walk returning at the end of the tour. Tea, coffee, and light snacks available. And then you can buy tickets on the website. Any questions on that one? Do we need to go through it? 
No, the question is just what is this thing, the gobbins? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Cork City, a beeline for the most buzzing cities in Ireland or island on the island with riverside walks, cafes, super memorable offbeat experiences. Top 10, attra nine attractions, the English market. Um, so 1980s uh, people of Cork realized that their capital was worth saving. Hail best covered market in the UK and Ireland. You have Cork City Gal, Gal, looks like a castle, then a penitentiary boat, but don't be fooled. These elegant walls have enclosed some of the most battle-hardened veterans of armed struggle. Not very well either. If you consider one frosty night in 1923, when no less than 42 prisoners tied clothes and sheets together and snuck over the walls in batches of 14, fleeing silently into the night on stocking stockling feet they were chiefly a women this was chiefly a women's uh prison where many republican women were held during the war of independence take a tour through the gloomy cells and quarters to be transported back to tough and turbulent times crawford Muse, uh, municipal art museum um since 1816 irish art has blossomed um tour the gallery then you have Elizabeth Fort, 400 years ago, um, caught the eye of attacking forces right up until the Irish Civil War in 1920. Um, the fort was replaced in 1624, and Oliver Cromwell is said to have had it improvements while besieging the city, resulting roughly what we see today. Take a stroll through. Many claim this offers the best view over Cork City. And then you have the brewery. Um, named after the site itself, medieval Franciscan monastery once stood, complete with healing well. While the beer brewed on site today may not technically have curative powers, it's still pretty good. Patrons can choose from a range of um, lager, lager um, ale, stout, and wheat beers, as well as various tipples from microbreweries all around the world. Relax with a pint of the beer garden where tunes from local musicians will play. Um, UCC campus, University College Court campus. Um, you have that. And then the cathedral. Doo, 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 doo. Keep an eye on the Angel Cathedral side. Local legend holds that he will blow his bugle to the herald to herald the apocalypse. Yeah, that's good to know. St. Anne's Church and the Bells. Uh, clear, you learn that the red sandstone white uh, limestone of the tower are said to have inspired the red and white of the quarks sporting colors. Although the church has existed here since medieval times, the one that stands tall above the city today was built in 1722. Don't trust the clock on the tower, though. Uh, locals call it the four face liar because of the different faces um, each till different times. Almost uniquely, visitors can ring the church bells, but the system is automated nowadays, so you don't have to swing on a rope. And then the, the museum here, climate have long made butter, milk, and cheese um, and produce. Okay, any question on that? that Do we get the correct information? And gene genealogy. Undercover the heritage, fascinating, intriguing. You might change uh, your life. Find out more. Da, 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 da. Tracing your family ties. Uncover your heritage from Ireland. Fascinating, intriguing, and it might change your life. Uh, you've traced the twists and turns of your family tree and done everything you possibly can from afar. Now it's time to come home to the place where the new chapter begins. Ge genealogy isn't just about finding the names connected to you and your loved ones. It's about discovering what your ancestors did, how they lived their lives, impact the local community, how brave they were to bid farewell to the Greenlands all those years ago, often starting their lives over again. These bits of information are the last pieces of puzzle that spans lifetimes when started with sepia tone photographs handed down from generation to generation online records ends on the island of ireland with the place you can call home coming home nothing can prepare you for the warmth and compassion long lost relatives my tree was really mapped okay all right so are we ready you guys did the test already so number one is dublin is home 
closed in closed park. <laughs> the same park is also president of Phoenix Ireland. Park. What is it? Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. Phoenix. And the Aga Khan oh, is a stud. The quarter of the world's golf courses. That's true. Goblins Cliff is number four. Um, number five is the English, English market. market. And last but not least, Kildar. Kildar. Everybody good? And we got six out of six. Yes. Congratulations. Again, thank you, Brittany, for putting that information in there. All right. Now places to stay. Okay. So you have Dingle Peninsula, geographic, uh, National Geographic, once called it the most beautiful place on earth. It suffered the, the Vikings um, welcomed Hollywood and its most famous local is a dolphin. This is the Dingle Peninsula. All right, Bohemian Rhapsody. It would be easy to arrive at the Dingle Peninsula and not leave the town of Dingle itself. Bohemian, artistic, genuine, friendly. Dingle is famed for its hardware pubs where you can buy a pint and some wellies. But push out beyond the town and you're faced with incredible 6,000 years of history and the Kerry coastline with its pounding waves, salty winds, dramatic cliffs, and wide racing skies. There's Dolores Oratory, an early Christian church overlooking the rippling blue waters of Smerwick Harbor. There's Cormino Beach with its haunting views of the Blasket <laughs> Islands. And there's the Connor Pass, the highest mountain road in Ireland. Exceptional is every day here. Skirting Slayhead um, to the most to get the most out of the Dingle Peninsula. Head off to the Slayhead Drive. Spectacular driving route weaves twist around the coast from Dingle. After you set off near to Dunbeg, you'll find the Fahan Beehive, which boasts a good collection of Clochran me medieval stone houses once inhabited by monks. These cone-shaped structures can be seen along the Slayhead Drive, and if they look familiar, that's a good reason why. The Beehive Huts on Skell and Michael feature as Luke Skywalker's hideaway in Star Wars. Hold on, sorry. Okay. And arguably, uh, Finest Beach, is that the one I just read? Um, Last Jedi, okay. Um, Ryan's daughter, most heart, more heart stirring scenery awaits at the D Duncan Harbor with its iconic twisting road leads down to the harbor, catch a ferry to the deserted and poet poetic Blasket Islands, the most westerly island group in Europe. Then beyond the coast um, is such powerful presence in this part of the world that it can be easily forget that there is more to Dingle Peninsula than the sea. Look at Connor Pass, this single lane mountain pass twists and turns relentlessly from Dingletown to Brand Brandon Bay. Stop at the summit and you'll be treated to stunning views of the whole peninsula and its terrain, a rust colored mountain sweeping Green Valley and Inky Quarry Lakes. Sean Murphy from Murphy's Ice Cream um, Dingle shares the recipe for one of the most popular flavors. Do you want to see the recipe? Um, great base for any stay at the peninsula, arguably one of the island's more charming towns, eclectic little fashion jewelry shops, best ice cream in Ireland, and don't miss out on the famous dolphin. All right. Next is Dublin City. Creative, charismatic, char charismatic, I'm sorry, I can't even talk. Charismatic and cultural. Dublin is buzzing with energy from the lively cobbled streets of the city center to the grand galleries of the Irish Museum, the Hugh Lane and National Gallery of Ireland. It's time to explore the many attractions Dublin has to offer. Do, 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 do. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right. Getting to Dublin, okay. Do we know here? What's going on? Okay, there we go. 
All right, welcome to Dublin, city as intimate as a village and as friendly as an Irish pub, framed by mountains, centered on a river and edged by a beautiful bay. City streets and alleys are filled with vibrant art and historic buildings, hip cafes, traditional old man pubs, as Dubliners call them. Walk the streets and you'll feel the energy of over 1,000 years of history as echoes of the Vikings mix with buzzing boutiques, cobbled streets reverberated with the sound of buskers and 18th century parks, play host to festivals, films, and food. City by the sea, resounding social plays. Uh, busy pubs, UNESCO biosphere of Dublin Bay opens up with coastal walks, little villages, wide sea views, take to the Dublin mountains for a hike. Um, so you have the college there, uh, you get a relaxed pubs, literature, and walks. Phoenix Park is one of the most beautiful parks, okay? So that's Dublin. Okay, next is Charming Cork. Wait a second, I think um, the answer to the one question about uh, the lively culture and historical district in the heart of uh, the city with funky shops and cafes, um, that uh, that might be in Dublin, the about the walks. Okay. Do you want me to go back to that to make sure? Unless somebody else already knows the answer. I would bet either Grafton or Temple, but um, does somebody else have the idea? Um, what it's is the temple. exact question? I, I thought it was Temple. <laughs> temple Bar. All right, so where are we at? What? That was question number three. What is the name of Temple, temple Bar? Yeah. Okay. All right, question three. Oh, I'm on a different one. Nope, it's actually question two, sorry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. And what was number one? Dolphin uh, nose, Dingle? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right, next one, Harbor and Heritage in Cork, Titanic. All right. So Cork, breezy, cosmopolitan, Ireland Southwest inspires devotion. Should I look for something regarding Titanic? <laughs> Top things to do, tastes amazing, tales. Okay, right here, Titanic. <laughs> Head out to the city, compelling Titanic tales, romantic castles, pretty seaside towns, all within easy reach. Good choice, a charming, colorful port of Cove, set in one of the world's finest natural harbors. It was here that Titanic last set sail, an event com 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 commemorated in the Titanic experience. All right, so that's the, the answer to that question. Um, and then a totally different side is the contained with the Blarney Castle, medieval stronghold, dungeons, gardens, caves, and the famous Blarney Stone. If you fancy delving into more of Cork's famous food culture, head to the gorgeous town of Kinsale. Check out the much lauded Mild Mild Middleton Farmer's Market and the town the same name, followed by lunch at the Sage Restaurant. All right, so that's Cove, which was port of call for Titanic. All right, now we have the murals they're talking about. Okay, so that is probably Belfast maybe. Uh, let's check it out. This is Belfast. All right, uh, it's got natural beauty, local uh, friendly locals who know how to have a good time. Destination Europe, quick to charm, brilliant attractions. Titanic, Belfast, cities are bursting with creativity. You'll see its boundary pushing art galleries in the cathedral quarter and the super cool pop-up restaurants that spring up around the city in the bustle of St. George Market where artisan food producers rub shoulders with craftspeople. Dig deeper and you'll uncover the layers of history that make Belfast such a compelling place 
from its Bronze Age origins to its prosperous shipbuilding past. Set on the shores of Belfast, um, framed towering cave hill, Belfast is a gateway uh, to the exceptional causeway coastal route, but you don't have to go very far from the city center to enjoy a bit outdoor adventure. Head to the castle for a heart pumping hike up Cave Hill, stunning bird's eye view, see the sights, 12 seat rib from Belfast Sea Safari, or check out the real life locations from HBO's Game of Thrones, one day from Belfast, more than just a city. So you have the cafes, the neighborhood going out, you have the walks, the restaurants, and then of course, Titanic. Uh, Belfast there. Okay, so that was Belfast. Next is Waterford. Wait, what are the color of the taxis in Belfast? Okay, let's get back here and see. We can Google this. They're black. Taxis. Okay. What is it? Black. black. Okay. All right, so question for the tax, if you're leaving, where's that one at? Oh, right here, okay. Did we do this, Love Dublin? Okay, city by sea. Explore, explore, Dublin highlights. So isn't the question, do you know the question, um, how do they leave Dublin, right? Sounding, you'll see busy pubs, walkways, out of card river rafting, enjoy the blast, explore Dublin, Dublin by foot, discovering Dublin secrets, Top attractions. City, food and drink. Itinerary. Coastal villages. By tram. Thank you. All right. So it's by tram. The mode transport would you be traveling on? Tram. All right, next we have Waterford City. I'm gonna clean up some of these. Okay, Waterford City. <clears throat> Stand on the quays of Waterford City, breathe this salty air, trade with Newfoundland, brought affluent merchants to settle here in the 18th century beautiful architectural showpieces um, and its foundings um, by the Vikings in 9, 914. The Vikings do a good thing when they saw it, sheltered bay, strategic location on the river, store, a good trading position, all attracted the Norse raiders here to create Ireland's first city. Explore Waterford today and quite incredibly, you can still feel the presence of the Vikings. The Viking Triangle and has been continuous uh, use for over 800 years. Step inside the thick walls and you can enjoy the exhibition on Viking Waterford as well as the magnificent 12th century kite brooch. brooch. Uh, where culture meets crepe, uh, the city feels cloaked in layers of history, each different and compelling. Wander into the medieval museum, see the glittering havens, heavens embroidered cloths, 15th century cloth of gold vestments, as well as the great charter roll, Bishop's Palace. Meanwhile, on the beauty, beautiful Georgian Mall displays the wealth, beauty, and architectural delights. Clearly, where history is concerned, Waterford packs a big punch, but this is a place rich culture like too, from buzzing festivals, gardens, to great local pubs, restaurants such as Momo, Ginger Man, and the Franks. Exceptional cut glass at the House of Waterford Crystal and a specialty blah, a specialty bread roll unique to the city. And getting out of town, explore the city. You'll discover most beautiful coastal scenery on the island. Head to the majestic Copper Coast Geopark to discover its cliffs, bays, sandy coves. Take a trip to the super scenic fishing village uh, or venture inland to the small town of New Ross. 
All right, and unmissable castles. Do, 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 do. All right, and the castles, countless castles dotted the time capsules all across the island. Why not step into Ireland's history? Uh, city hotels may be heavenly in bed and breakfast, the homeliest, um, homeliest havens around, but can anything really beat a castle stay? Whether you grew up dreaming of dragon slaying adventures or envying tire, um, tower bound princesses, there's something about a castle that captures your imagination. Uh, thousands of years, they've had the landscape, the afternoon visit can give you such a feel, feeling for the enduring magic within these invincible walls, spend a night or two and make your childhood dreams come true. Each of Ireland's castles has its history, unique offerings. If you're a lover of the life's finer things, Dom Dromoland Castle, Lofthus Castle, and Ashford Castle will hit the spot. Promising gourmet dining, award-winning spas, five-star standards across the board. At the other end spectrum, Black Castle, heated by roaring fireplace, no Wi-Fi or electricity in the Great Hall, authentic medieval living. Then castles where guests can spend the night rubbing shoulders with owners. Master of Wilton Castle, Sean Windsor, delights in sharing its story with visitors. While the seventh Earl of Earn has opened the doors of Con County Fermat's Crom Castle. Thank you, Brittany, for years, or you can always go one step further. All right. And then pastimes, whole lot more to do in the historic ambiance alone, fishing, horseback riding, clay pigeoning. Um, the towers, again, more castles, totally different Game of Thrones fans will feel right at home in Northern Ireland where Bally Galley Castle, the Gosford Castle known to followers in the series of River Run as well. Okay. All right. So last questions. True or false? Clamanta Castle is located in Kilcomany. That is true. And then uh, Dromanlan Castle and Ashford Castle is the last two. All right, everybody got those questions completed? Seven out of seven. Looks like we're going to be getting a gold certificate. How many more trainings do we have? Do you guys know? How many? No idea. <laughs> it doesn't have like you step by step all right so we have saint patrick's day we'll just read partial of it and then go back and look for the answers nothing like it march 17th the island uh thrums with energy and excitement for saint patrick's day it's not just us the whole world goes green to celebrate on the pin of shamrocks so let's see what opens the first up. question is what day is saint patrick's day all right <laughs> 17. 17. we got that one Woo! we didn't have to read <laughs> The Galway International Oyster Festival. Okay, so let's check out the festival. That's right over here under probably Galway City. Let's see. Come on. We got two more. Oh, good. Okay, thank you, Sandy. All right, so Galway City, top nine attractions. You have taste local flavors. Um, all the incredible bistros, cafes, and fine dining. The festival right here. What was the question? The International Fall Oyster Festival. Oyster Festival right here. It goes, it was 1954 or something like that, did it say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. how sharp. All right, festival. Where's the oyster? Right here. Jeez. <laughs> All right, where is it? Let's see. World oyster. I wonder if it says anything in here. I would probably say maybe yes. 
I don't know. Am I missing it? Um, let's see if it's that's the pub museum, the market. Medieval gateway, Galway. It's back there. It said 16th on 16th century. Where at? Oh, down. The 16th century isn't 1954, so forget that. All right, what's the question? Let's see. The Galway is regarded as one of the longest vessels in the wor world. Okay. Every summer, Western Galway International sees something you can find out why the Galway has been called one of the greater events. True. Yeah, I'd say true. Okay, yes. Thank you. I guess it probably here somewhere. Okay, next is, so taking the festival. So that one's true. Take a dip, a day to remember. Uh, many companies run great sightseeing. The scenic cruise along the river and explore has never been so easy. All right, so this one is true. Halloween was first conceived in Ireland. From which city did it originate? Okay, so that one's right up here under Halloween. Um, Derry, so Derry, London. Okay, then again, one, okay, complete with the walls, Armada. Oh, we already did that. Halloween. Okay, so we got that one. That's Dawn and Burr, whatever. Do, 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 do. Derry, London, Berry. What is the name of Dublin's International Film Festival? Let's see. International Film Festival in the spring. So you have the traditional festival in Dublin, home of St. Patrick's Festival. Where do you want to see? Home of St. Patrick's, Horse Trail, Bike Fest, Sea Session. This it? Galloway, what was the question? Uh, movie makers hosted the perfect platform. Is that it? It's a Let's... film festival. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where, what is the name of Dublin's film festival? The Virgin Medea. Virgin Medea. Thank Isn't you. it Virgin yep. Media? Like, like Virgin Atlantic, you know, what's his butt? The the rich guy <laughs> for Richard Branson. Yes, All right. he's the he's the main sponsor. So they bang. He gets yeah. around. Well, you know he's got a lot of money. <laughs> All right, the National Stud is home to Ireland's finest thoroughbreds. What else can your client find on the grounds of the Irish National Stud? The Japanese gardens. Very good. Japanese gardens. And which town in Ireland hosts the Puck Fair Festival when crowning the Goat King? <laughs> Killor Glen. <laughs> what is it? The Killor Glen. Okay, Killorgan. Let's see. Here it is. Killorgan. Very good. And then Queen Mive's Iron Fist ruled over which province in Ireland? Connaught. Those are good. All right, Connaught. And the Galway Arts Festival founded in 1978. In which month does the Galway Festival take place? Isn't it July? Mm -hmm. Was it July? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so we've got 17th of March, True, Dairy, Virgin, Japanese, Kilgoran, Connaught, and July. Let's see how we did. Eight out of eight. Yay! Woot. All right, almost done, guys. Let's get our gold specialist, all right? Whew. All shining right. those apples, shining <laughs> those apples. <laughs> all right, county walking tours. All right, Cork City Restaurant has been awarded Michelin star for 2019. Let's see, the Michelin star for restaurant. All right, so they have surfing, where surfing is real, big breaks. You've got sea session, surf spot. Okay, ask us which ones you need answers on, April. Other surf spots, okay. So you got Irish surfing, sea sessions, a festival. Did we show anything about Michelin? All right, let's Would that see. be in food. Um, April number six. Oops, I'm into the wrong one. She did. Oh, she got it. Thank you, Liberty. Thank you. All right. So the food. Where's the food? Northern Ireland. Ireland, best of the best. Maybe that. course we're not going to leave anybody behind all right where is the michelin food festival oh man all right so stays at sweet everyone catering spots riverside paradise organic farms oh that looks fun okay that doesn't look like anything with the restaurants Self catering should be something there, right? No, about here. All right, traveling accommodations, accommodations. It looks like all accommodations. Okay, let's check the other one. The Michelin Guide has a totally different restaurant than any of them that are listed here. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's check this out. This is how to explore. All right. Different itineraries that you can do. Guys, I got, I got kicked out. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to catch up with you. I'm having trouble logging back in now. Okay. Um, well, no, if you guys could write down the answers uh, in the chat and then I can just catch up. Yeah, because I don't want to two more down two more. Yeah. Left. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll put it in the chat. I mean, we'll put it in one of the, the groups. Also, guys, if you think of any that um, you want to do for next month, let us know so we can add it to the to the links. All right, so this one is Ireland on screen. So movies and stuff. Let's see what the, mm -mm -mm. which major hit Netflix show is based in Northern Ireland? Dairy Girls. Dairy Girls. Which Irish city has been named European capital of culture? Game of Thrones, what part of? Mallory, it started with the K. All right. Okay, so let's see where we're at. So set in Ireland, Maureen O'Hare falling in love. Okay, cities of spotlight, dairy girls. So we got that one. All right, so that's the answer for that one. Next. Um walking tours oh we'll go to game of thrones too but okay anything on the walking tours my questions are what's new i don't see these questions yet okay um somebody could help um amanda i don't know where she's at with the questions 
All right, Northern Ireland, Causeway views, heavenly beauty. So let's see, what are we looking for for this? Oops, which Cork City? I didn't see that. Ferrari, Abadu, Las Vegas Strip, and it's a number one on the top nine of Belfast. Be before we leave, could you guys put the no answers in the the one through eight answers? Because I am not only not getting, not only have been kicked out but it's not recognizing my password and it won't send me the oh no here's, here's your new uh, you know here's your reset my password link right okay and i don't want to have to do this again <laughs> it's really long <laughs> all right let's see the game of thrones for steps of success i have another training i have to get uh not for this one. I don't think um, this one, we don't have a code for steps to success. This is just a, uh, but um, if you're in Beach Bosses, guys, you get to use this for a lot of uh, ticket um, for the raffle. So make sure you put it in there. Um, Northern Ireland. All right. So Game of Thrones was in Northern Ireland. Okay. Harry Potter. Okay, thank you, Brittany. Golf course hosted the British Open. Which one did that? All right, so that was Games of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Best of the best, so let's find out that. All right, so the best of the best, accommodations, stays that suit everyone. I think you actually, the, the one about Michelin stars was in the last paragraph. It said something, I, I saw some word star. And the last, last paragraph of what? The one I of, uh, No, 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 the, uh, go right above where you are. Last, so under something different. I think it's Ichigo Ichi. Ichigo Ichi? I think so. Ichigo Ichi. Thank you. All right. And Northern Ireland's attraction recently named world's leading visitor attraction. That was that the Guinness? No, that's the Giants Causeway. Giants Causeway. Thank you. All right, Dairy Girls, Irish city named European capital of culture. Which one was that? Not an easy one. Oops. Galway. Okay. <laughs> thank you. All right. Oh, you're answering up. Cool. Thank you. All right. So we've got the Royal Portrush. Okay. And then we've got Galway. Where's Galway? Where's Galway? Erica Galloway. Am I missing something? Oh, here. There. Galway. Thank you. And the hotel named Hotel of the Year. 2018. Google's best friend, the Dar Manor. All right. So we've got Ichigo, Giants, Derry, Galway, Northern Ireland, Royal Portrush, and Adair. Let's do it. Ah, we missed one. We missed one. 
Which one did we miss? Giant's Causeway's wrong. I take it over. I need to get a gold. <laughs> and look like I can retake it. Scroll up to see what the answers, uh, the questions are. Um, it's the um, the leading visitors attraction. And that's the one we didn't get right, not the yeah. one below it. Yeah. Okay. Correct. I was thinking it's the Guinness one. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't get a gold. All right. So you guys got that? Did you, did you try Guinness? If anybody hasn't done it yet, see if Guinness gets it. It's Titanic. Okay, thank you. What about Titanic? It's a Titanic. Is the leading is, is the, yeah the leading visitor attraction? Yeah, Titanic. What's number six? The golf course for British Open. Um, Royal Portrush. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so it looks like we have one more left, I think. Do, 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 do. Continue. All right. And why Americans love Ireland traveling around getting to Ireland. So you have a travel checklist that you need to do. What type of clothes do I pack? What currency is used? The Republic of Ireland is the Euro. Credit cards, the Visa and MasterCard are to be used. Ireland has a chip and pin. Electronics, smartphones, e-readers, and tablets, plugins are the three-pronged. Electricity supply is 230 volt. Bring an adapter to keep your devices charged. Okay, next. Doo -doo -doo. Then you have airport pre-clearance. One air Irish airport office, US bound passengers, full customs and immigration border pre-clearance so that you do not need to clear customs at your entry airport in the US. If you are making a connection, you can check your bags right through to your ultimate destination. Well, that's good. All right, flavors of Ireland, the giant's causeway, strange rock columns caused by volcanic activity millions of years ago. You have the Powers Court Estate, Wonderful, exceptional walking tours and architectural beauty, food, drink, golf, Ireland on screen, the walking and learn more, okay? All right. And then Irish food. Experience food in Ireland is not just about fine dining, excellence in the big city. It's about seafood on the beach, apple pie in the wild location, about picnicking on the very freshest fish you've just plucked from the ocean. Press the green button. What are you waiting for? Okay. All right. I guess it just takes me back through. So let's see. All right. So off the beaten path, getting to Ireland's never been easier. Direct flights. Once there, getting around. How long does it take to drive from Dublin on the east coast to Galway on the west coast? That all depends if you crash on the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Said from experience. <laughs> oh no! You got in a wreck. Oh yeah. Oh geez. 
That's not good. Okay, Eric, Erica says two hours. So you rented a car or was it your driver? We rented a, a van for all of us and we uh, had some issues with the tiny, the very narrow roads with, you know, uh, stone walls on either side and, and people driving crazy and no shoulder. Oh no. And everybody's on the wrong side of the road. So it's just crazy. <laughs> God, I bet. All right, number two is all of the above. Okay, friendly locals and the warmth of welcome visitor receive well-known highlights. What else is on offer that tend to surprise and surpass expectations? Let's see that, safari tours. Is it just one or what? Anybody know? Just one. Which so one is it? Quality of food? I don't know. I was just guessing. So what was the first, the answer to the first question? Two hours. Two hours. All right. So let's see here. Where am I? Well, let's see if there are volcanoes in Ireland. I don't think there are, so. Okay, you got the weather here. Travel checklist. Oh, I could have clothing. Currency, credit cards. Citizens information, transport, Christmas. Hmm. Things to do. So they have the castles. I don't recall seeing anything about the volcano. I just looked something up and it said Ireland's newest safari experience transports you to the African continent. Yeah, that's what I thought safari too. So you just put safari tours. Wait, um, d does it allow for only one? Oh, okay. Friendly locals and receive are well-known highlights of any holiday. What else is on offer that can tend to surprise and suppress? I'm, I was just thinking the food, because yeah. talk about the food is popular. Well, it would surprise me that you could do a safari tour in That's Ireland, true. but yeah. I don't know for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna choose quality food. Oh, here. It's food. Okay, all of the above. Okay, Game of Thrones. Look at look at Brittany getting all these answers for us. Game of Thrones. Then you have churches hidden in the forest. And then all of the above for full suite. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then 4.5 million. All right. So two hours, all of the above, superb quality Game of Thrones, churches, and all of the above, 4.5 million. So dang it, I missed one. All right, congratulations, guys. Did everybody get there? I never got logged back in, but I will get it when I get it, whenever yeah, they send me my. <laughs> Brittany's taking care of us, keeping it updated. Yay! Okay, retake the quiz. Should we retake it real quick so we all get gold? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Did anybody get 100? What was number two in the last one? How do you retake it? I don't get you the just, option. You go to print your thing and then you go to hit retake. So go to the end and then hit it. 
And then oh, so we got to retake the whole thing. Yeah, but I'm I'm pulling it up with the answers because luckily Brit, um, Brittany put the answers in here for us. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so one point cool. five. <laughs> Shut up. Harry Wild Potter. Atlantic. Harry. 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 Causeway. Cool. Yeah, we all want to get gold, guys. So go ahead and retake it really quick. We have all the answers here. Years. Do we save and continue or submit and show results? I save and con I, I do the first one, whatever it is. So you're on section two. It's Phoenix. Aga Khan. True. Um, the Goblin. The English Market. Oh, come on. And Kildar. Okay, well, I got to. I got to have go back to the beginning. Okay, Phoenix, Ag Aga Khan, True, Goblins. Mm -hmm. Yep. English Market. Okay, I'm ready. Dingle, Temple Bar, Dingle, Temple okay. Bar, Kabar, Black. Bar, Black, cool. Tram, Tram, True. Gremlin ca Castle. Okay. Jeez, oh, you guys are faster than me. <laughs> How can you get there so fast? Type, 17th of March. Oh, come on. Okay, I think this is where it started. Okay, Halloween. I the last one. Halloween is from Dal... London Dairy, Virgin, Japanese, Kilgorian, right? Yep. Connaught, yep. And July. What was the second one on that one? Um, is it true or false? I think it was true. 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 The Oyster Festival. Yeah, it was true. Then Kilgarin and Connaught in and July. July. Okay, can I can you slow down please? <laughs> <laughs> can you please scroll back up there a little bit? What's what's the answer do you need? True. Uh Halloween was okay, I got that one. Um uh, and the Dublin's International Film Festival was Virgin, right? Yeah. Okay. And the stud was Japanese Gardens. Okay. Correct. And the Puck Fest Fair Festival. Is that Connaught? Kilmore, uh, or whatever. Okay. Yeah, Kilorgian. And, and the Queen Ma. Maybe? It's Connaught. My okay. Thank you. And the film festival July. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next, okay. All right. Ichigo. Ichigo. And that was Titanic, right? Yep. Yeah. Titanic. Titanic. Okay. Dairy Girls. Galway. Northern Ireland. Port Rush. And Adair Manor. And one more. Two, Two hours. hours. All the above. Superb food. Game of Thrones. Churches. All of the above. And 4.5 million. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you guys and thank you, Brittany. Oh, what the hey. heck? <laughs> well, I got this. I got gold. <laughs> I must have not checked one. Oh my uh -huh. god. I think it's the first one. <sighs> All right. That's no fair. Let me go back again.
I got a headache. Okay, so who did everybody pass? Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, yes. yes. Congratulations, on, everyone. Make sure you get in and post your certificates. Um, join us on the 14th for, I mean, the 21st. No. Oh, no. Oh, so actually, the 21st, we're doing Jordan. Yep. All right. So, Royal Caribbean, I need to do a makeup day. So let me, what days does everybody, what about the weekend? Does everybody want to maybe do makeups on the weekend? That'd be great. And yep. if so, yeah, Saturdays or me. Sundays, what, what works best for you guys? Either one is fine for me. Okay. Either one's for me too. Are you guys good in the morning or at night? Or good in morning or afternoon? Either I prefer are fine. afternoon. I prefer afternoon, just saying. I don't know about anybody else. Either doesn't make any difference for me. So all right, and again, we'll record them too. So, um, ooh, Sean, all right. Maybe we'll see you. Whatever works for you. Okay, all right. So we'll check it out and see what's coming up. Um, I know I just volunteered to do some presentations this Saturday, so maybe we'll do it this Sunday. Um, all right, guys, make sure you come visit the office. We have training at the office on Saturday, so you guys can meet everyone. All right, so thank you, guys. Congratulations. I need to go back and find out what I missed because I want a gold plaque. So, um, but otherwise, guys, we're done. Again, congratulations, everybody. Um, let us know what you want to train on for next month. Get that over to me right now. Um, what in the world? I don't really have anything listed. So a oh, wedding, we wanted to do weddings. Um, I thought we had something else. So uh, send me a list, keep Fiji. Okay, Fiji. Um, anything else, guys? Should we work on some of the ones that we need to finish next month? That's what we're doing um, on Sunday. We're okay. doing the uh, AM Resorts. Uh, Royal Caribbean, Princess Cruise, Princess Cunard. I thought I thought Princess was done. No, they're That's done except Princess for the oh the main test. Okay, yeah, they're done except for the tests. All right. Anybody got the phone number to Cunard? By the way, while we're in here, because I, I cannot get in there because I've been requesting emails from them to reset my password and I cannot get a hold of them. Because I can't get into Cooner. Or wait a minute, that's the one that wouldn't let me. They didn't read my results. Your... Right. <laughs> so to yeah. clarify, everybody, the um, world's leading visitor attraction, it's Titanic Belfast. Correct. That is crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Star Wars one, was that Carrie? I'm looking uh, it up. Yes. Yes. yes, it was. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it looks like I missed typing that in. Okay, there we go. Continue to next module. Continue. All right. Am I done? Am I done? Am I done? Uh... All right, so we have Finland, Fiji. Um, what else? Oh, I would like, oh, Finland. I <laughs> I would love Finland because I was the executive director of Fest USA in 2019. Very good. All right. Um, Mallory, for the raffle, do them daily so you don't forget. Just every time you get done, fill out a raffle ticket. Um, okay. What so are the raffles for? Where do you? Um, my team. Oh, okay. Um, I don't your know. team. Who's, whose team are you on? I'm on. Um, first class phoenix first class is that so, like courtney's um that's a uh, courtney and destiny yeah okay yeah. that's yeah. rising tide rising okay. tide okay yeah so beach bosses is my team and we do like raffles and stuff just to kind of keep people motivated so um they fill out a ticket so um oh, okay. ah, Barney, i haven't been submitting one can i just do one right. for like so far and then yeah. go to daily of course yeah okay. 
Yeah, Thank just you. just make sure you get it done by the end of the, uh, the month. Um, again, congratulations, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Sorry, this one was kind of like no, an awkward one, every day. Okay? Yeah, Usually they're much more fun. So if you're new with us, um, this one was just a, a weird one. But um, but yeah, Jamari, if she's doing something, change it. It's not. <laughs> is he just me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, thank you guys. Thank you, Mallory. I appreciate that. Um, again, stay plugged in. Let's, you know, keep going. Um, guys, don't forget now, you know, we do have these recorded, so they will be posted on our chat groups on my YouTube channel. Also, um, right here, um, make sure, you know, if you guys need any help, let me know what videos you want and stuff, but get on any live ones. We have the accountability and the voucher program you guys can get into. Um, if you want to catch up with Royal, do the Royal one. So when we do the second one, um, New Agent Orientation, Virgin Voyages, we just finished that one. We got our gold thing for that. Guys, again, um, Virgin, they put out a thing in, you know, last year, if you completed the training by February 14th, you got a free cruise. You just paid poor taxes and fees. So I always tell everybody, stay plugged in and, and watch and get on these trainings. Um, just like the cruises, guys, I don't know if you know, but they have $10 cruises right now. Um, we're actually, a bunch of us are going on the celebration, which is on um, March 7th through the 11th, okay? Um, Virgin Voyages, we've already done all those trainings, but um, right now they're paying 22% um, commission, I think. I have a um, question. Is it ten dollars a day, or is it ten dollars? No, ten dollars a person, and then you pay poor taxes and fees. So it comes up to like you know, whatever. I think it came up to like six hundred dollars. We got a balcony. Room. And can can you get um multiple? It, it's just for you. I think it's just for agents. You can bring like up to four people in your room. I don't think you can book a second room for them. I'm trying to find out because um, a lot of my agents want to, you know, bring somebody else. Yeah. Um, but just so you see here, um, let me show you. Um, you just go into it. Like in this particular, you go into individual stateroom booking. Um, the dates we're going is March. We're going to Bahamas. We're going on the conquest from Miami and interline means that you are a travel agent. So when you click that March 7th, as you see here, it says the price, but if you click here, it will show you all the options. And as you see right here, travel advisor rates. $10 per person or ocean view $20. So we're going to click here. We're going to continue, get an ocean view. You can have your choice of the different decks. Okay. Um, click there, go to next. You can pick whichever room, you know, let's just do this right here, just so I can kind of show you. Um, and then you add the protection gratuities. You say, yes, add the information. Um, let me just do it really quick, just so you guys can see the total. And again, this is ten dollars or twenty dollars. You can because you're other. bougie and you're getting the upgrade, right? We ought to. Yeah. Um, Nevada and Nebraska. We'll just put that. Um, again, depending on where you are, they um, sometimes give us additional rates. Oh shoot! It clicked it out. Oh no! This is my next guest. Okay. Uh, Richard, I'll put him in here. I'm just making something up just so I can show you guys. Oh, I thought maybe you were going again. <laughs> I am. I'm going on the 31st and then I'm going in March. So I'm going in two weeks. So you can do two of these? Um, I, the other one I got before, but yeah, you can do, you can book as many as you want when they pop up. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. So here, $500. And that includes the gratuities and insurance. Oh my okay? God. So for $500 for two people to go on a four night cruise, guys, you can't beat it. No, nope. um, you do have to pay right away. And then of course you pick early dining. I, I picked your time that way. You know, if you're out on an excursion and stuff, yeah. um, the only thing is, you know, sometimes again, these rates, um, you know, look at the commission, you're making five bucks. So what, <laughs> you know, at least you're getting an amazing deal, but that's so, so again, if you're doing the, 
the you know that's 40 so it's it's 458 or whatever if you do the interior room so take advantage of these guys you know we have amazing amazing deals but you have to stay plugged in so you know what's going on watch those chats i try to post it in like our group chats in the in the vouchers um, make sure you guys are signed up with the voucher program too um in facebook okay uh sandy does an amazing job sandy gunderson um is my um you know right hand person for that she is amazing and she will take care of you and, and get those vouchers out just remember if you order vouchers make sure you let your client know they have to redeem it within 30 days there's a whole training on that also but like i said i will post in here all the different things also make sure don't forget this training on uh, thursday um the clea training um we are now uh uh, what what are we um, elite group okay premier agency so they're regularly one hundred and nineteen dollars and um, now they're sixty nine dollars okay so again guys take advantage and get in and learn this um, because with this Clea card you get all kinds of upgrades and promotions and stuff so um, so just um. You know, this one here, like I said, I post a lot in here. This is my group. You guys are all welcome to join it, okay? Um, there are vouchers that we use to um, promote um, to promote your business, okay? Um, they're like incentive vouchers, kind of like Groupon, okay? Um, so like here, somebody used this. Three nights stay, enter to win. Um, so again, I have a training on it. If you'd like, um, it's right here. Voucher and accountability training. We just, that was the 16th. I thought I did one earlier than that. But anyway, um, I do them usually every other week. Okay. Uh, but definitely join that group. Um, and then stay plugged in. Again, we try to show you all kinds of amazing stuff. Okay. All right, that's all I have. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week. Um, we'll see you um, on Friday. We're doing Jordan Specialist. And then um, Tuesday, we're doing Thailand. That'll be a good one also. Marnie, right, I'm so Mar Marnie, I'm not trying to belabor the point. When is the CLIA training? The CLIA, can't talk. CLIA is on um, Thursday at... 11 a.m pacific time okay thank you um it's a 35 minute webinar questions and answers i definitely think you should get on it so you can see what the benefits are um okay and then my trainings um if you're in rising tide guys um would you be quiet um the trainings are all right here if you're in rising tide um, for my like certificate trainings, do, 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 right down here. So you guys can plan in advance, get in and register ahead of time if you can. That way we're all set to go. Um, this is on Fridays, we're at 12 and on Tuesdays we're at one and then we'll be adding now probably Sunday, okay? Um, I know a lot of people go to church too, so I need to figure that out um, when it would work. So, so we'll see. I'll look at my calendar and then we'll figure it out. But um, uh, what we'll do is Royal Caribbean probably this weekend sometime for the second batch. And then we'll start finishing up. Um, we've done AM resorts that we have to finish up. Here's Virgin Voyages if you haven't done it. Um, each of the trainings are in here so you can get the answers um princess we have like nine of princesses training okay part five part six it's a long one but with princess you get a three day to a 30 day cruise guys okay um one of the ones i saw was hawaii a 10 day cruise for 240 dollars for two people for 10 days um how do you get the link for the recording right here is my youtube channel just sign up for my YouTube channel. You can get any of these recordings. You can watch any of my trainings. If you have any prospects that you want to share the business with and they don't want to go to a live webinar, I have that here. Um, I'm going to be recording a new one. Um, 
back roads travel opportunity that's november i know i did nope. one before yeah this is for me though okay yeah so so all these are in here for you guys take a look and um it you does. know again we're, we're here to help you, you guys so anything you need help with let us know okay yeah thank you very much here's one a month ago so that was the most up to date so yeah, so keep me updated on what other trainings. Hey, if you want to learn about um, team building, get earning residual right here. Beginner team building, learn how to make extra money. Guys, it's very easy because who doesn't want to save money on travel, okay? So check that out. Also attend any live ones. And otherwise, have a great day. What we say is if we don't see at the beaches of the world, we'll see you at the bank, okay? <laughs> Thank you so Thanks, much. Guys. Bye. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you, Christine. I appreciate your help. And Sandy. Yes. Bye. Yes. Yes.